Hello, good day to you all. I greet you all in the name of Jesus Christ, my personal Savior, our Savior. Yes. So, a next word from the Lord. I will be reading from Exodus chapter 6, verses 4 to 8. The Lord says, And I have also established my covenant with them, his people, yes. to give them the land of Canaan, the land of their pilgrimage, wherein they were strangers. And I have also heard the groaning of the children of Israel. Right there, the Lord starts speaking to me for me to do this video to tell you guys these things that he is saying. That he have heard the groanings of his people. Of the children of Israel, whom the Egyptians keep in bondage, and I have remembered my covenant. Wherefore, say unto the children of Israel, I am the Lord, and I will bring you out from under the burdens of the Egyptians and I will read you out of their bondage and I will redeem you with a stretched out arm and with great judgments and I will take you to me for a people and I will be to you a God and ye shall know that I am the Lord your God which bringeth you out from under the burdens of the Egyptians and I will bring you in unto the land concerning the which I did swear to give it to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob. And I will give it you for an heritage. I am the Lord. Yes, amen. The words of the Lord. So when I read this just a while ago. The Lord speak to me for me to come on here because this is what is going on right now with his people. His people, some people are, some of his people are in problems, bondage, like trials that they need help from the Lord with. They're crying out unto him. They're praying unto him. They're seeking him. They're like, Lord, when? <laughs> when, Lord, when? And the Lord said, he heard your groanings. Okay, the Lord God will rescue you from all these trial and all these trouble that you're going through that you need him to do for you that you need his help with so the lord god here and he will rescue you from the evil one from the trial from the trouble he will deliver you he will come through for you He's going to answer your prayer. He is going to help you right now. He's sending help. And this is what I also learned. Pray for swift angel to swiftly come through for you. To pray for provision angel to come through for you in providing what you need. So God, I have all these angels to come to us to help us to rescue us from all these troubles and i am gonna pray right now for all those who are in need who are in trouble and they need god's help i pray in the name of jesus christ that the lord god sent a swift angels to swiftly come through for you in all the good things that you need 
in helping you to swiftly bring help onto you for everyone who needs help right now, who needs provision. I ask the Lord God Almighty to send forth his provision angel unto you right now to provide for your every need, to provide for all the good things that you want and that you long for. And for the swift angel to be in your life, to swiftly bring good things unto you and in your life. And for the provision angel to be in your life, to provide for you every day. And for you to have all the provision that you need. For you to now get good more than bad. For you to now get blessings instead of curse. For you to get help each and every day. For the Lord God to send forth destiny's helper unto you. Yes, to help you in what you need. And for the Lord God to give you what you want and what you long for that is good and right in the sight of God. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Yes, and it shall be done. Amen. Thank you, Lord God, for answering my prayers. So I pray for the swift angel to be with you guys and for the provision angel to be with you guys. And I'm telling you, this work, this work, because God have his angels to work with us and to work for us. So there are many angels who are working for the Lord God. And I realize there is a swift angel that is he is so real this angel is so real right and i also heard about the provision angel and i'm telling you it is real this work when i pray for swift angel to be with me it work i'm telling you you guys and swift angel would swiftly come through and make things happen yes so Pray for swift angel to be with you guys to swiftly let good things happen for you in what you are longing for, in what you want, in what you need. Okay, and for provision angel to be with you and in your life to provide for you with what you want. And tell God thanks before you get it. Yes, when you pray, tell the Lord God thanks before you receive it because that's faith. That's faith in motion. That's faith in works. Have faith, have strong faith, have true faith, and you will, I guarantee you, you will get what you want. When you believe that God can do it, he will surely do it. Yes, he will come through for you. That's what he says in Exodus chapter 6, that he hear your groanings and he, he will take you out of bondage. That's what the Lord God says. So swiftly things will happen good for you in your life people of god yes problems don't last for too long problems definitely don't last for too long god is not dead jesus christ is alive so from the lord god is alive and well he won't let problems and troubles and trial be happening to you every day. No, he's going to rescue you. Same like how you tired of it. God is tired of it as well. Because he loves his people. God loves people. Even the wicked God loves and he still allow them to get blessings. So why would he not bless you and help you and rescue you? He will do it, of course, especially from you are his. He will definitely do it. Guarantee that he is doing it. Okay? Because if he can, you know, bless the enemies, he can definitely bless you. You just have to believe it. Just know that he will. And he will. Because God don't work with doubts. Okay? When Jesus Christ was on earth and he was healing people, he said to people sometime, do you believe that I can do it? And they would say, yes, I believe. And then Jesus Christ healed them. So Jesus Christ work with faith, people with faith, people who believe that he can do it. So believe that the Lord God can do it, people believe, believe have faith. Have strong faith, true faith that the Lord God 
can deliver you and rescue you and provide for you and take you out of your trouble and it won't happen over and over and remove the doubt from you remove confusion and wavering from you and just have faith that yes god will take me out of this cycle of bad things in this thing that keeps happening to you over and over god will do it and he can do it there is nothing impossible for the lord god so it's just you to know that it's just you to have faith and think that all the time that god will take me out of this okay and he will because god work with faith yes some a few times god will show a person who doubts who think oh it's not happening to me oh it's always a bad thing, the same thing over and over. A person would say, <laughs> a person would say, and few times, rarely, God would show up to that person to show them that He is here, He is there, He is real, He is not sleeping, He's a miraculous, marvelous God. Rarely, God will show up to a doubtful person to prove them wrong. That here am I, I can do it, nothing is impossible for me, and that God would say to that person, for them to now realize that God is real, God can do anything, and that person would now believe that Jesus Christ is alive, God is real, is powerful, nothing is impossible for him, yes, only rarely, but most times, God works with people who believe that he can, who believe that he can do it. Yes. So people of God, this is what the Lord God tell me to tell y'all. He is going to rescue you from bondage and he hurt your groanings and you will not be going through the same bad thing over and over. Especially when you have faith that God will rescue you from it. He is gonna rescue you from it he will rescue you from it okay remove the doubts i pray in the name of jesus christ that anyone who is watching this who have doubts i pray that that doubt be removed right now in the name of jesus christ of nazareth no more confusion with whom of confusion no more wavering with whose mind is wavering no more of that in Jesus Christ's name. Each and every one who is watching this right now, I pray in Jesus Christ's name that each and every one of you will have true faith in the Lord God and will have strong faith in the Lord God and believe that the Lord can do all things and nothing is impossible with the Lord God. Yes. And you will know that the Lord God can rescue you and will rescue you and will help you and provide for you and deliver you from no one in jesus christ's name amen yes thank you lord god for answering my prayers hallelujah god is good for his mercy endured forever always believe that and know that gentle people so jesus christ love you all have a blessed day